Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix black screen issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart Steam. So go to Steam, click on exit and then relaunch Steam and then launch the game. If that does not work, restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to try all launch option. So when you launch the game, it gives you these, these options so you can try play ready or not direct x 11 you can even try play safe mode no modes you can even try launch clean mods save data and you can even try direct x 12 so try all the option one by one and check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to delete the config file now to delete the config file let me inform you before you delete it all the saved settings will be lost to delete the config file Open File Explorer in computer. Go to this PC. Open C drive. Now open Users folder. Now open Your Username folder. Now open App Data folder. If you don't see App Data at the top, click on View, Select Show, and then put a check on Hidden Items, and then open App Data folder. Open Local folder. Open Ready or Not folder, and open Save folder. Here you can see Config folder. So you can just uh, rename it, or you can just delete this folder. Once you delete it, now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even rename the save game files. So, but when you rename the save game files, all the game progress will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. So create a backup first. You can copy this folder. You can paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created, now you can rename this folder. You will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So you can rename it. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to rename slpcl.dll file. Now for this, you can go to the game installation folder, make a right click in the game, select manage, click on browse local files. Now open a ready or not folder, open the plugins folder. Open NVIDIA folder, open Streamline folder, open binaries, third party, even 64. Here you can see this slpcl.dll file. If you want to create a backup, you can just copy this file and you can create a backup of this file. Once you have a backup created, now you can rename this file. Make a right click and then rename it. You can rename it. Once you rename it, now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to remove any mods and if you have any mods if you're using any mods just remove it so delete only files which are not this so for this you can go to steam make a right in the game manage browse local files and then open ready or not content folder and then open the paks folder and over here anything that starts with pak P A K chunk 0, 1, 2, 3. You don't have to delete these things. These are important. So do not delete these any file which starts with park chunk and some numbers. Don't delete the delete these files. You can delete this. In my case, this is the mod. So you can delete this, make a right click and delete. Also, there is an exception. If you have this park chunk 20 in your over here so in my case it's 19 then there is no 20 over here but if you find this park chunk 20 you can delete it delete this one uh, for many users this has worked so it might work for you yeah. now the next step is to set resolution quality to 67 50 or 58 or 50 and you can also uh, turn off dlss frame generation FSR quality, you can set all these value to zero. Now for this, you can go to C drive, users, username, app data, local, open ready or not folder, save folder, open config folder, windows folder. And here you can see game user settings. Open this folder. Now over here, first of all, find this resolution quality. So here you can see resolution quality. This is set to 100. So if this is set to 100, uh, first of all, you can try uh, this 67. You can go to file, click on save. You can even try this 58, 50. Also DLSS quality, you can find control F DLSS. 
here you can see DLSS quality settings. If this is set to four or any, uh, let me check DLSS quality settings. Yeah. So for this, uh, you can just set this to zero and then go to file, click on save and then find frame generation settings, find frame generation. So here you can see frame, frame generation. Okay. So, so here you can see frame generation settings. Now, if this is set to, uh, yeah, set this to zero over here again, file save and then find this F FSR quality settings. set this also to zero. In my case, it is already zero. And delist quality setting. So this is already zero. Once you make the changes, go to save and go to file and then click on save. And then for this game user settings, make a right click. Once you make the changes, go to properties and then put a check on read only, hit apply, click on OK. Now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now, instead of launching the game from here, you can make a right click, manage browse local files, and then you can open this folder binaries win64, make a double click over here, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, uh, you can also run this game, run the exe file as an administrator, make a right click, go to properties, Go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working this time, put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, you can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK. Again, you can even try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply. Click on OK, launch the game, uh, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to, if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, in that case, you can open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, then go to Windows security, then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Then click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, in my case, the game is installed in this location. Select the game exe file. Now click on open. Again, click on browse all apps. Open this folder, binaries, win64. Select this exe file, click on open. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game files. To verify the game files, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. This is important. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game 
AMD card users, first of all, uninstall the current graphic card driver, restart your computer, then go to AMD website and then install the latest graphic card driver. Again, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphics settings in Windows search box, click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then open the game folder. And then select this exe file, click on open. Once the game is added, find the game in the list, click on the game and then over here select high performance and then launch the game. Now if the latest graphic card driver is not working, in that case you can even roll back graphics driver. Now this has worked for many players so it might work for you. So I'm showing for Nvidia, you can go to Nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system and then click on find. And this will take you to next page. On this page, you can scroll down and then click on view more version. Now, for many users, this has worked. GeForce Game Ready Driver 576.28. You can try to install this one, but go for clean installation. And for me, this is working fine. That is 566.36. This one. This one is also working fine for me. So you can click on view, download it. When you go for installation, select custom option and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then restart your computer and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to try power saver mode. So type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Go to system and security. System and security, then Windows Defender firewall and then click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall. Click on change settings and then click on allow another app. Click on browse and then go to the game installation folder. Open the game folder. Select this exe file, click on open and then click on add. In my case, this is already again added. Again, click on allow another app and then click on browse and then open this folder binaries win64. Select this exe file, click on open and then click on add. Now, once the game is added, now launch the game. To try power saver mode, uh, first of all, again type in control panel and then go to uh, hardware and sound and then go to power options. Over here, you will see different power settings. In, in your case, you might see power saver. So if you see power saver, you can select power saver and then check. You can even try balance and then check. Now, you can even use this Intel Extreme Utility Tool. So if you have this tool, you can use it or if you don't have it, you can install it. You can search in Google and once you install this tool, uh, you can go to performance score ratio. Now, if this is set to 58x in that case or 57x, you can try 56x, maybe 55x or maybe 54x and then you can apply and then you can launch the game and then check. Now, it's still not working. The next step is to update the system bios. Now, this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then update the BIOS. In case of a laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% when you update the system BIOS. And during the BIOS update, do not unplug the power cable. And after the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now, for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, Scroll down here, you can see x86 and x64 version. You have to install both the files. So download this x86, click on it, and then run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well, click on it. Now again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, hit install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Once both are installed, you can close this and then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now for this, open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here and then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to Unplug all the external devices from the computer. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, 
disconnect additional controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make our active on the game select properties and turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn it off and then launch the game if you have any other overlay application like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings turn off overlay you can even use nvidia app to uh, like you can just open nvidia app and then go to settings over here and then you can turn up this nvidia overlay and if you see the game over here you can try to launch the game from here also so click on play and then check you can even go to settings and over here if there is optimize option hit optimize if it is already optimized you can reverse the optimize just click on revert or restore optimize and then check now the next step is to close all the overlay application and then check also close all the overclock first of all do not overclock if you have overclocked set it to default also close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert tuner or any kind of third party application or services running close it also if you have undervolted you can be able to remove the undervolt and then launch the game the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can just uninstall the game now after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check now in case if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel